These are 20 of the unluckiest snooker moments ever. Let's start the ride with number 20, when Sean Murphy's unfortunate dodge of the red left us all speechless. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. So, Would you believe it? Would minutes. you believe that? Right, baby, score, free ball. Well, that's harder to do, to go around it like that, than it was to hit it. Well, he's having nothing, Sean. Not that great red in. Went in off into the middle. Would you believe he'd go around that? Moving to number 19, remember when Luca Brassell lost his footing and completely botched what should have been an easy shot against Walden? Dear, dear. Once again, quite Probably a lot of body 14. movement on the shot during the shot. There's a chance gone begging. As he pulled the cue back, he was already moving his head to... Number 18 brings back that moment when Mark King aimed for the scattered reds, but unluckily missed them all. Here, and this is hit and hope. <laughs> That's unbelievable, oh, yes. isn't it? Ding, Ding is really laughing at that. Look at Ding's face. He was in his chair, his shoulders were shaking, he was laughing so much at that. Well, I don't, I don't think um, there's many balls to worry about here. Dropping in at number 17, we have that unique moment when Ding's cue ball took flight, leaping over the red instead of striking it. Session we'd be in for after the final interval, if that's the case. Here comes the best of five. Oh, hello. I was about to say, it becomes the best of five. I hope he hasn't done any damage to the tip. Well, what he has done is given Liang a lifeline in a frame that it looks as though Ding was about to clinch there before the miscue. We've seen him do it a few times in this tournament. On to number 16, a twist of fate. Hawkins, snookered by Liu, tried to pot the pink but ended up sinking the cue ball instead. Well, this is very close. Excellent shot. <laughs> Be careful here, Barry Hawkins. He doesn't go in off and sit in this side cushion. He hits the pink. He could go in off. He could go in off. Oh. Well, would you believe it? Liu Chen six. Would you believe it? What has he done? Down, it was please, always on that in off. Why did he play it so hard? Number 15 brings back the unfortunate moment when Ding missed an arguably easy pink, resulting in a loss in the evenly contested match against Wosley. Another good effort, but where's the pink going? It's over the middle, that's the end. Ding Zhongwei puts his head in his hands. Next in line at number 14, Stephen Maguire pots the red, but a misplaced cue ball turns it into an unwanted foul. You yeah. cannot get your breath. Moving on to number 13, we've got that unusual moment when even the great Ronnie O'Sullivan got disoriented and completely misplaced the cue ball. Um, wow, well, we've seen everything now. Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. Absolutely amazing. He missed a blue in the previous frame and he missed cues on another blue. Yeah, to really get into the cue ball there, he position shot before was poor. Rolling into number 12. Remember when Clark played a calculated snooker, but it boomeranged back as he ended up snookering himself when the red dropped in the pocket. Bring that red out. And I thought it was a better shot than that. I'm no certain either. Oh, he don't want this red in the pocket. Where's the red ball going? Doesn't want it going in. Oh, oh well, that's the worst thing that could have happened. And it's a concession. Coming in at number 11, that unexpected twist when Lisowski went a double shot on red. But instead, the pink found the pocket, scoring an unwanted foul. Red in a high value colour. Needed. He's playing the double. A dangerous shot, the double. Where's the pink ball going? Well, yeah, well, in a way, it. that could be a result Mark for Allen. Jack Lazowski. Joining our list at number 10, here's a chuckler. Kyron Wilson's cue ball launches off the table, and with it goes his cue tip. Oh, oh. dear me. It made me jump. And that and the camera woman as well. 
seven. Yeah, yeah, there go. Anyway, frame over. Jamie Jones not going to carry on. Hey, yeah, mate, that was funny. Glad we're not in 3D. Anyway, he's one frame away from a place in the quarterfinal. Up next at number nine, Judd Trump's plan to pocket the red took an unexpected turn when the pink followed suit, earning him a foul. Where's the pink? Oh, would you believe it? How unfortunate can you be? Well, that's amazing. If that pink wobbles, he'd have been on it. Settle down now, please. It Thank didn't you. touch the sides. Look at that. How has the pink gone in there, Phil? Well, you could recreate that shot all day and not do it again. Do you want to win a cue signed by this snooker legend? To enter, subscribe to our channel, like the video, and drop a comment with which part of this video was your favourite moment. Next up at number eight, we've got that baffling moment when John Higgins aced a red into the centre pocket, only for a rogue Brown to follow suit, earning a surprise foul. Wow. Foul. John Higgins, 36. That had to happen. Mark Williams, four. Things Quiet down, please. Thank you. In the heat of battle. Yes, two wonderful exponents of this sport, and you've seen two shots. At number seven, there's a surprise in store. Luca Brissell pots a red only for the cue ball to brush the yellow and take a detour straight into the pocket. Oh, didn't want the kiss. Where's the cue ball going? Oh, unlucky. Rolling on to number six, it's either a slip or a blunder from Joe Perry, missing what should have been an easy shot on the black. Well, can you believe it? He only needed the black to leave Mark Joe needing Perry. a snooker. 39. Mark did that uh, early on. He jumped over a brown. Similar type of shot to that. What a time to miscue. I was just going to say, Dennis, as well, as a factor of the way he plays, he, he always addresses a cue ball very, very low. At number five, we've got Ding pulling off an incredible banana shot on the red and potting it. But in a twist, the cue ball dives into the pocket too. Sean Murphy and four. crucially, Sean Murphy does not need the blue. Unfortunate again, just any run of the ball that's been going tonight, Sean. Number three, we have a memorable moment when McGill executes a good shot on a distant red, only to snooker himself and stare in disbelief. Needs to be on the black, though. Needs to be on the black, otherwise it's all over. <laughs> Next, at number two, we have a nail-biter as Craigie takes a blind shot on the blue, narrowly missing not one, but two pockets in a heart-stopping turn of events. Well, he's working on the principle. Six pockets on the table! Sam Craigie, 17. Finally, at number one, we have Joe's unfortunate shot, where he pots the red into the centre pocket, only to watch the cue ball dramatically follow suit. For more snooker videos, click on the screen right now.